Hey guys, it's Audie with Gamble Tech, and welcome to Gamble Tech Extra. Alright guys, and today's tweak review is on an app in Cydia called QTweeter, which is an app that allows you to update your Facebook and Twitter status. Now, it says in the description that it's the fastest, coolest, and most efficient way to tweet and update your Facebook status, that you update your Twitter and Facebook status from within any application except for your camera application. That one I found out myself and you also can't activate it through the lock screen. You actually have to have your phone unlocked to update your Twitter or Facebook on the QTweeter app. This app is definitely one of my favorites. I use it constantly because I'm always updating my Facebook and my Twitter and I do it both from here with the QTweeter app. I like it so much it's because I don't have to always go into my Facebook application or my Twitter application just to update my status. Because when you go into your Facebook or your Twitter, it you know it loads for a little bit. I mean, I don't like waiting that long. I just like to really do it quickly. And also, so I don't have to get out of any app that I'm in. All right, and as you can tell, this app is not free. It's actually a paid app, and it costs $3.99, but I feel that it's worth every penny. And for those of you who just don't want to spend that $3.99, just click on the link right here and in that video it shows you how to get free apps from Cydia including this one alright so now I'm gonna give you a complete walkthrough of this awesome app okay right now I'm on my home screen and I'm just flipping through flipping through oh something comes to my mind I wanna update my Facebook and my Twitter so all I gotta do is go to the status bar up here and just slide down and if you decide you change your mind you don't wanna update it no more just slide it back up Oops just like that. Alright so I'm gonna go ahead and give you all a walkthrough in the settings and to get to settings just hit this button right here and then hit settings. Alright so here you can configure which account you wanna use. If you wanna use your Twitter and your Facebook or just your Twitter or just your Facebook then that's to your uh, to whatever you wanna set that as and your options you can choose the update sound they have the bird chirp and the flyby that's the one I'm currently using or you can just have no sound at all and this sound will play after you're done updating your status for a confirmation that it has been updated and from here you can choose your background and how you do that you just tap the camera icon up there and you can take a photo or choose from your photo library and they got this auto hide Q tweeter button where you can set it on or off. I keep mine on because after you're done updating your status and you hit the update status button and it'll make the confirmation sound it'll just go away automatically. You don't have to worry about sliding it up. And then down here it just tells you you know donate to QTweeter and about help and reset all QTweeter settings. And here's one very important information to know about your Facebook and your Twitter accounts. Now your Twitter account always keeps you signed in. You're never going to get signed out of your Twitter app. So you don't have to worry about that. But with your Facebook app, it does sign you out after a certain amount of time that you haven't used this app. And I'm not really sure how long that is. After it does sign you out, it might be 24 hours. It might be 30 minutes, 45 minutes. I'm really not sure. So, but And how you'll know is if you try to update your status with QTweeter, it'll give you an error. And that error is telling you that your Facebook is not signed in. It doesn't tell you that, but that's what that error means. So what you do is you just go into your settings and hit the Facebook. And if you see ready to post on there on your account status, then that means you're, you are signed in in Facebook and it's ready to post. If it doesn't say ready to post, then you need to hit the reconnect to Facebook button and it'll reconnect you and then ready to post will show on there. And then you'll be good. All right, so that's it for the settings. So I'm going to go into my Safari. and I won't feel like updating my statuses so I'm gonna go ahead and slide down and there I go I can update it from here now I'm gonna go to winterboard I wanna update my status slide it down there you go I'm gonna go into maps 
feel like updating my status there you go now I'm gonna go into words with friends I feel like telling people how bad I'm beating this person just slide it down and get the typing even during a call you can update your status we're sorry but we did not recognize the number you entered please enter the wireless phone number that you are calling about starting with the area code for more options press 1 how cool is that alright so you guys get the general idea of what it says you can update your status from any app alright now for the buttons and what every button means on the Q Tweeter app this one is to, is to tweet music what music you're listening to this one is to upload pictures on Twitter and on Facebook. This button is geotagging where you can uh, tell people where you are, your location. And here's the app button for Twitter. All you do is tap it and all your Twitter contacts will show up. And you just pick which one you want to contact. And to get rid of it, just hit the X, delete it, and it'll go away. And let's say you just want to update your Facebook status and not your Twitter status. All you have to do you see where your picture is there's my picture for my twitter just tap it it'll give you a facebook and twitter selection all you do is mark the one that you don't want to update and it'll have an x saying letting you know that that's not going to get updated only your facebook will alright once you're done deciding just tap your picture again and start updating so right now i'm going to update my facebook status only and I'm going to show y'all guys how that auto hide feature works right now I'm going to update my status that's what I'm going to have for my Facebook status and all I do is hit update status and this is what it will do there you go it's updated alright guys so that does it for this tweak review and in general, if you have a Facebook or Twitter, I recommend this for any Facebook or Twitter user. It's fun, easy, and fast. If y'all have any questions, any requests, just let us know. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, Gamble Tech Extra. And don't forget to subscribe to our main channel, Gamble Tech. Alright, we'll see y'all soon. Later.